everyone, welcome back to the channel. Lately, I've seen a ton of videos promising to solve the issue. This phone number cannot be used for verification. But honestly, none of them really helped me, and I don't want to waste your time with empty promises. So in this video, I'm here to give you the real solutions to this problem based on my personal experience. People in certain countries, including Ethiopia, have been running into this problem while creating new Gmail accounts or trying to verify their YouTube channels. I personally face this when trying to set up a Gmail account using an Ethio Telecom phone number. What's strange is that I've used multiple Ethio Telecom numbers to verify accounts before, but lately, I've been running into this roadblock. Now, let's get into the possible reasons this is happening. First, it could be due to Google's new policy that affects certain countries and number providers. This issue is mainly reported in specific regions, meaning it's not a global problem. Second, there might be a bug in Google's email service. Bugs happen, and this could be causing verification to fail. And finally, your phone number might have been flagged for suspicious activities. Google is known to block phone numbers that have been linked to multiple accounts or that show unusual activity. Now, here are three possible solutions to fix this problem. Solution one, wait it out. I know it sounds frustrating, but in my experience, sometimes the issue resolves itself after a few days. For example, a month ago, email verification was down in my area, but it started working again after a week. Sometimes it's just a temporary issue on Google's end. Solution two, contact Google support. Take a screenshot of the error message and reach out to them directly. Their customer support team can provide assistance and might even be able to resolve the issue for you. Solution three, use a different phone number. If you have access to a different phone provider, try using a number from that carrier. This could help you bypass the issue entirely, especially if the problem is specific to your current provider. So those are the three possible solutions you can try. If you have any other fixes that worked for you, let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to mention your country and phone provider, as it might help us understand where this issue is happening the most. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated. I'll be posting a follow-up video with more solutions soon, so turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one!